Hello again, and welcome back to Super Mario World. So we finally made it to the Valley of Bowser. And as you can see, Bowser was over there in the castle, behind it, in the dark. So this is the last level, and we're going to take care of him once and for all. But first we're going to have to go through this area though. And I can see the Star Road from here. Kind of ruined that part in my last video. Or not, I can't remember. So with that said, let's get into this and see what we can deal with these guys. But before we take care of things, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, that would be helpful. So with that said, let's begin. And already I'm losing my voice. Just woke up from a nap in this guy's trap. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's just see this guy going here. You're dead. So are you. Okay, so a funny story though. I got a, um, not a funny story, but the other day, my brother gave me some old Super Nintendo manual. One of them was a Super Mario and... Zbach. Not Super Mario, but... Super Mario Brothers. Uh, you see, I can't speak today because I'm too distracted of what I'm doing. I'll just get back to that later. Let's see. Miss me. Alright. Messed up with my thing. There we go. Are you going to get me or not? I guess not. Alright, let me see if I can get up there. Or not. There we go. Pretty crazy today. It was raining and there are some noises over there that I had to take care of. There's still some noise I can hear in the background. Someone was watching some movies. Oh yes, so I found another of these moon. So in my last video, this moon can help you get three lives. Pretty cool, and pretty rare, if you're lucky to find it. Alright, so what I was trying to say, a couple of days ago, my brother gave me a pile of Super Nintendo manuals. One of them was Super Mario All-Star and... Super Mario World, the collaboration, not the separate one. Pretty cool, along with the Bomberman games. And I'm wasting time because I need to get this over here. Let me try. Gotta hurry up. There was a close one. And this is a dead end. There it is.
made it. I really cannot speak today, so yeah. This is another level with a different location. Let's see if we can get through this. And I need to watch out because there's um, bats up there. And already I'm... Um, I can't talk. And this guy. That's twice already. up. I don't know, most of these bats over there kind of looks like birds or owls because of the pointy cat-like in the ears. Alright, I got something over there. Now you're going to have to be careful with this part because I don't want to get crushed. Just wait until this thing moves up and down in the per perfect position. And I can't get too cocky going real fast farther because it may not work that way. So yeah, I just woke up from a nap because I just came back from a dentist appointment. We'll have another one, another appointment three, six months from now. Let's see this part here. A dead end. Ooh, that was a close one. Ooh! Wrong timing. Let's see what's over there. No! That was a mistake. Let's try this again. Yeah, all right. Any secret entrance? Nope. Ooh, that was a close one. I'm just going to ignore these coins and go to the pipe. And get out of this part. There's the finish line. I was thinking of going back to that place to see if I can find the secret entrance. So hopefully this area is one of the secret. And I found these wings, so 
without Yoshi, I can't get through this. I think it's somewhere around here. I can't tell. Alright, so it looks like I found a way in. And there it is. Simple as that. Now let's get into the fortress. This may be the last time of that I'll see this cutscene. Let me see how hard this is. Alright, just taking my time. It's all about timing. That's what matters. Come on. There we go. More of these guys. Of course, I gotta have to uh, do this. There we go. Ooh, that was a close one. Tuffy. So like I said, it's all about timing. And it's pretty hard to... There we go. Just hit these guys in the lava pit. No more of them. This is going to be... Okay... Boom. There's a fire pit thing over there. Come on. And we made it. And this is the last time we'll see these guys. one. Literally a close one. So we finally made it to the palace, the back door of Bowser's castle. So we can finally take care of Bowser once and for all, or we can just go back and continue on with our journey into this ghost house because going over there would just make this video s real short. I was going to say slow. So let's just do the right thing and move on to the environment. And this may be the final part time we'll see the ghost house as well. Now they said there is going to be a boss fight in one of the ghost house. A giant boo, but I just can't tell where it is. Which one is it? Well, we're never gonna find out because we're already near the end. Let's just take care of these guys. And if I have my thing, it's going to be easier for me to get through this. Utterly. And it takes you back to this place. Don't have time for that. Too slow. Well, at least I got to the finish line. Oh, 
on to the next world. I mean, level. I almost had it. Let me just get my mushroom back. I missed up. Skipping this, forget it, because I already got enough lives as it is. And one of those Koopas are bouncing, bouncing on the rope. Come on, take my sweet time. You know, as far as I can think about this, this valley takes is more of a cave world than the actual place. Mess, stupid thing messed me up. But we're done. Another cave. Don't want to get hit by those things. Ice cave section, which I don't like because of the slippery floors. Knock knock. Alright, let's claim up to this. And we have Yoshi. Okay, Yoshi. You almost fall off in there. Okay, Doki. Well, who'd have thought Yoshi can eat dirt? Is that possible? Digging from the air? Alright. Let's make it... Hmm. Should I or shouldn't I? Now I'll just do it next time. So as quick that it is, we finally made it to the final castle of the Koopalings, Larry's castle. So let's take care of Larry before we head to Bowser's main castle. And it's one of these things. Gotta be careful not to touch the chain. Almost there. Oh, 
I was thinking that who is actually the mm, trademark mascot for every cartoon or company. Not comp. Hold up. Every company cartoon mascot for every. Car Ugh, you know what? Forget it. I was gonna say something that mentioned that has a nod between Mario and Mickey Mouse from Disney, which I'm trying to say because Mickey represents Disney, while Mario represents somewhat of um Disney version of. Mickey Mouse. That's what I was trying to say. And we have another year until... Until the Mario Brothers movie. The new one, not the live-action one. Although I somehow enjoy it. You know what? I'm starting over from s this part. Of course, I can't hit Kamen. Let's see. The Magic Koopa. I'm trying to... What I was referring to. Faster part kind of reminds me of the cartoon version. He was using that part. You know. But enough talking. We have Larry's fight. Very simple to. Very similar to the first one. I forgot what his name is. Just push him up the lava, and he's done. Yeah, come on. Almost there. Nope. Yes. You did. And we have the last egg. Looks like we don't have the bomb this time, so kick it instead. Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in Castle 7. All that is left is Bowser's castle where Princess Totsu is by being held. Can Mara rescue her and restore peace to Dinosaur Land? One way to find out. So we finally made it to Bowser's Castle. But unfortunately, we're going to have to save this for another time or another video. So I'm going to have to stop there. So thank you for watching this. If there's anything that you like, like I said, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So until then, I will see you again in this last video. Or in this case, somewhere in the last video.